Hello chess lovers, Soren here with a very entertaining game. With the white pieces playing Philippine international master Rodolfo Tan Cardoso and his opponent is the ninth world chess champion Tigran Petrosian. The game was played in 1975 in Las Palmas at the 4th Rui Lopez Memorial. Let's see what happened on the board. Cardoso opened up with e4 and Petrosian responded with Sicilian defense c5, knight f3, e6, d4, c takes d4, knight takes d4, knight f6, knight c3 and d6. Petrosian goes for Scheveningen variation and against Scheveningen Cardoso chose this hyper aggressive Keres attack g4. Here black has several options, can either play h6 or knight c6 but in our game we have h6. In return Petrosian wants to advance on the queen side and Fienke to his queen side bishop and as white's g pawn meets no obstacle steps forward. g5 is on the board, knight d7, here the most popular move is bishop e3 but Cardoso proceeds with his pawn storm. h4 is on the board. b5, bishop g2, bishop b7, by Fienke to ink his queenside bishop. Petrosian will start putting pressure on e4 and on the long diagonal. h5, meanwhile, white proceeds with his attack. Knight c6, a3. White is first fixing black's pawn structure on the queen side and then will proceed with his attack and we have rook c8. Petrosian is bringing his rook on the lifeline in Sicilian defense. This is what Lev Polugayevsky loved to say. C file is the lifeline in Sicilian defense, right? Rook h3, knight takes d4, queen takes d4 and we have rook c4. The rook steps on the fourth rank and now Petrosian will start putting pressure on e4. But first we have bishop e7, f4 and e5, f5. This time we have h6. All the time Petrosian is undermining white's pawn structure, g6 and f takes g6, h takes g6. Knight f6, bishop d2 and queen a8. A standard move in typical positions, the queen is coming to support the light squared bishop and already there is too much pressure on e4 and already white is in trouble. Here Cardoso castled queen side but let's cover other lines as well. What if rook h4 which is of course not a good move. This steps both on the bishop's diagonal and also black is pinning the pawn on e4 and black can play d5. Or after queen a8 if b3 then simply rook d4. This is probably the best line for white but even in this case white is losing the pawn on e4. If queen h1 then d5 and if knight takes e4 then d takes e4. Yes again black is managing to win this pawn on e4. Let's go back but in our game after queen a8 we have castling queen side and Petrosian simply munched the pawn on e4. Bishop takes e4, bishop takes e4, b3, rook d4 and f6. Cardoso proceeds with his attack. Bishop takes f6 was played. This time we have rook e1 and d5. Yes, black has a very pleasant position although still black king is in the center of the board and Black has to be careful because at any moment can find himself overexposed. Knight takes e4 was played, rook takes e4 and queen c5. White queen is trying to find weaknesses in black's camp. In here we have the exchange of rooks on e1 and an interesting move by Petrosian king d7 preventing any unpleasant queen d6 moves. Here we have bishop b4, queen c6, queen a7 check and king e6 which is a total blunder. Instead of playing king e6 it was better to play queen c7 and then rook b8. But in our game after queen a7 check we have king e6 and the problem with this move is that now by playing rook h5 white could simply win the game. With this move white is taking under control this fifth rank not allowing black king to escape and is threatening queen f7 checkmate. If queen e8 then black can start losing his pawns and this is going to be an easy win for white. But Cardoso missed his chance to beat Iron Tigran and after king e6 he played rook g3. Now comes e4, queen f7 check, king e5, look at this king guys. Rook c3, this time we have queen e6 but although black king is on e5 square there is no danger. Rook c7, we have king f5. Of course, you can't capture on f7 because of this. G takes f7. Although, instead of playing king f5, 
White could also play queen f5. This is even stronger if bishop c3 check than king f4. But in our game we have king f5 and now white is managing to find some counter play. Here we have rook d7, rook e8, rook d6, queen c8 and rook takes d5 check. King g4. So far so good in here. Although Black has a slight advantage but we have an equal game. But in here Cardoso made a terrible mistake and played rook d1 after which his position collapses quickly. It was better to play rook d6 preventing any possible queen e6 moves. But in our game after king g4 we have rook d1 and now after queen e6, black is managing to consolidate his position and white is in trouble. Of course exchanging the queens is not a good idea, black has two powerful passed pawns and a strong king. That's why white kept on giving checks with rook g1 check king h3. Look at this black king guys. Queen a7 and e3. Queen b7, all the time white is trying to create problems for black, but Petroisian's defense is super solid. Rook e6, this time he's covering his king with his rook, queen d1, e2. Black pawn reached the second rank, this is insane. Queen e1, queen e5, rook h1 check, king g4, queen g1 check, king f5. And once black king reached on the h3 square, and is now going back. King takes g6, rook g1 check king f7 and after rook e1 Petrosian played king g8. This is like castling by hand, you know guys. King d2, here we have bishop g5 check, although black could check made white king faster by going for queen g5 check and then queen d5 is coming and then queen takes d4 checkmate, but this bishop g5 check is also winning. King d3 was played and after queen d5 check finally we have a resignation. If king c3 then queen e5 check. Yes, black queen is coming near and it's over. Black is winning. That's why understanding that the position is hopeless after queen d5 check we have a resignation. A very entertaining game guys. Petroisian's king walk was simply insane and I hope that you enjoyed this game greatly. In the end would like to ask you to solve a chess puzzle. Please take a look at this position and try to find the winning move for black. I will wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching. For more games consider subscribing to my channel. Also press the bell button to get notified about new uploads. I will see you in my next video. Take care.